Welcome back in to Make It Monday. Today, we're going to be making these. Repurpose candles and this. And my haul. Today is Make It Monday. So, I have a project, but I'm going to show you, to start off, a haul that I had made this week. Um, it was at our local Carm store and our local Goodwill. So, I want to show you what I found. <clears throat> and, and, I also went to my husband's grandparents' farm and rummage through some sheds and I'll show you some things I found there as well. I found this. It almost looks like Linux, but I don't think it is. But I thought this would be very pretty to put like a, a Christmas tree in or some florals. It was $1.99. I thought this was really cute. It's a candle sniff sniffer. And I think I'm going to paint this and make it like a bronzy color and it was 99 cents found this wooden box i don't drink cocoa or coffee so i'm going to re be repurposing this it was a dollar 99 now this little heart dolly everything there is a minimum of 99 cents so this was 99 cents these they were dollar 99 i'm gonna have to fix this one it's the Jute is loose at the top, so I'm gonna have to glue that. But these were $1.99 a piece. I love this. This matches my bedroom. This was $1.99, and it is ceramic. So I'm gonna be making using this for something for my bedroom. This, just a little cone. I think I'm gonna make a, put some florals or something in here. This was $1.99. I also found this bucket, pretty sturdy, for a wooden handle. This was $1.99. I found this bag of florals. Well, it's just little pieces of greenery is what it is. Just little bitty pieces. But I thought these would be good to use for different things. And these were $1.99 for this bag. This kitchen sign, it was $2.99, but like I said, the pink ones were half off, so that was a dollar and a half. This, and I'm gonna paint this like a bronzy color. But what, I, what I'm gonna do with this is I also found these. They were 99 cents a piece. This was a dollar 99. This, this one has a small spoon somewhere. I don't know where it happened to it, but it, there's a small spoon somewhere. But I thought I would paint that and I would do this. So that's what I'm gonna do with that. This, 99 cents. This, there's two of them. There's a small one and a larger one. They were $1.99 a piece. So I'm going to be seeing what I can make out of these. There's two of those. I didn't discover this had a broken glass in it until I was paying for it, but I still wanted it. Can you see? It was $1.99, but I do have glass that I can replace that with. So that was $1.99. 99 cents a piece. I found these two old books. This one is called How to Keep Well. And this one has a date of 1897. This one is called Prayer. It's just a little book presented to such and such Saint. Bunches Church School, Christmas 1957. This one has a date of 
1945. So those will go upstairs in my collection. I found this pink tag. It was a dollar ninety nine, so I got it for a dollar. It's missing something, but I'm gonna I'm gonna probably redo this where it says Merry Christmas. I'm probably take this off and I'm gonna put it on a stand. This little tray. I think it's Dollar General, but I got it at uh, Goodwill. It was a dollar ninety nine. This happens to be probably my favorite find. These were a dollar ninety nine, but they were pink tags, so I got them for a dollar a piece. H M and E. So I'm gonna get me a wreath, and I'm gonna spell out the word home. So. $3. These were just $3. This old scrapbook was a dollar. See this old paper? It's got some leaves in it that I'm going to take it, but I just want to use the paper. And I love the cover of this, so that was a dollar. I think this might be the frame. I'm not sure, but this might be a home interior frame. This was $3.99. I'd probably take this out and make put another picture in there. Another bag of shower hooks, shower curtain hooks, that I'm gonna take apart and use these for something. This would make great embellishments, like nail heads or, or such. This, it's metal, $2.99. It was from Hobby Lobby. I also found two poster frames, 16 by 20s. These were $1.99 a piece. I always use those. Found this, 99 cents. Found this, I'm gonna repurpose this, 99 cents. I think that was all of my Goodwill haul. I did find at my local car store, just three things. This ornament, it's metal, and it was $3.99. It's huge. This large bag of corks, $3.99. This big bag of blocks, there's probably two different sizes. There's some this size here, and there's some this size. This was $6.99, but there's a lot of wood in here. That was my carm haul. Now I'm going to show you. I went, like I said, I went to my husband's grandfather's farm this past Sunday and we were going through a shed and I just saw this random box and it said knickknacks. So I think these were my mother-in-law's. But these, these weren't in the box. These were just laying there. Two angels. Need to be cleaned off. They're kind of dusty. This little planner. Wall hanging. Has some mushrooms on it. I need to clean this up. This would make something good for Brooke. She loves mushrooms. Two vintage oatmeal cups. hat vase. Some, like I said, these are going to have to be cleaned up. I don't even know what's in here. I've not even looked. Ooh, look at this salt shaker or pepper shaker. That's cute. An ashtray. You know, these are really good. I have seen people actually, let me show you what they've been doing. They take their paintbrushes and lay them in where the cigarettes go. So there's that. Pretty spoon rest. It's a little deer. It's a planter, I think. Planter. Oh, this is pretty. Look at this. Looks like what I'm missing. But that is very pretty. Oh. It says Myrtle Beach on the back, but that would be really cute that way. A turkey napkin holder for a good little boy. 
that's cute. An old Tupperware, an old pipe, an angel, little grandma, and a little tea bag holder. Those were my finds this week. And I'm going to be making a couple more trips back over there because there is this beautiful, beautiful uh, cabinet over there. Vintage cabinet that uh, his, fa his grandfather used to uh, store hardware and stuff in the shed. But I think I'm going to get it out, repurpose it, put it in my bedroom, and put old quilts in it. So let's put this away. Now for this one, what we're gonna do is I have this candle that I gave 99 cents for at Goodwill. So all you're going to need is a candle, a napkin, parchment paper, and an iron. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this napkin I think I got these napkins at uh, Hobby Lobby. We want it to be one ply. So, let's measure this. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off. We will trim it later. Now, I'm going to take this side, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this down just like this. And I'm going to take my parchment paper. I'm going to lay it over the top. Just like so. Take my iron and go over it. What this does is it melts the candle enough that it will stick the um, napkin down. Go ahead and continue on. I have to trim just a little bit of this. Let's go ahead and trim it. Now, I actually need to invest in some more napkins, but decorative napkins are hard to find around here. Just go ahead and go around it, making sure it's stuck down. Don't get it too hot. Just enough to kind of melted on. Can you see where it's starting to stick? Go ahead and finish this up. Like I 
said, you want to stick all the corners, all the edges. I don't want to make sure all of it's stuck. Trim the edge. There's a candle. And it's stuck. Now for this one, I have this frame right here. It has this Eiffel Tower on it and I don't like the Eiffel Tower on it. I, it's not that I don't like the Eiffel Tower, I just don't want the Eiffel Tower on the frame. Now, I also have these two small scrapbook uh, card note cards or journaling note cards. And I'm going to look through here and see if there's any that I happen to like. That one's cute. That one's cute. That's cute. That one's cute. That's really cute. I think I know which one I'm leaning towards. that one. I don't think I even have to look through the other book, but I may anyway. And then there's this one. It has geese, sheep, and pigs, and butterflies, and mushrooms, and roses on it. So let me go ahead and look through this one just to be on the safe side, just to make sure. Okay. Don't think I want any of those. So, I think I will go ahead and get I'm sure you guys know which one it's going to be. I'm going to do is I'm going to take I really need to clean off my hot glue gun All right. I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue and we'll place this where I want it finish hot glue in it Now, what if we went ahead, I've got these, and placed these in the corners. So let's go ahead and do that. Put a lot of hot glue on here. 
place it in the corner. A lot of hot glue. Grab a glue stick. Now I think I'm going to get some Mod Podge and go over my image so it'll stay down. Now, I'm going to go ahead and give this a dry. This is what it looks like. I think I'll hang this on my wall. So here are our crafts that we made today. Two really, really simple things that you can make. Just things you have laying around. Just an old candle that you wanna repurpose and a frame that I found at Goodwill. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. These were two extremely, extremely easy crafts. Very easy. And I really lucked out on my thrift haul this past week, so I just wanted to share that with you as well. So give these things a try. See what you can come up with. I'm sure you'll enjoy them. I mean, an old candle, who knew? Until next time, my crafty crew, may God bless you. I love you guys. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, to hit that notification button, and to share this video. Until next time, my crafty crew, bye.